Well, if you're going to take a trip down to a warm and sunny destination, you of course need to bring your FPV aircraft. I brought with me my Zod Dart 250 and my Flywoo Explorer. The Dart is the perfect little airplane for this type of flying. Like the Nano Goblin, it is small and quiet. It also packs way into your luggage easily because you can remove the vertical stabilizers. Fortunately, there's a bit of a problem with this as over time the adhesive pads that hold on the vertical stabilizers start to get a little less sticky. Combine that with a few landings in the sand and you get to the point where one of my vertical stabilizers was barely holding on when it was in the air. On the ground it looked okay, but as you can see from this footage, under aerodynamic load getting bumped around at turbulence, it was looking a little bit sketchy. I've since converted them into using magnets instead of adhesive pads. I've done some other flying in sunny destinations and it's always fun to fly around beach areas. It can be a little bit windy, but the dart seems to handle it pretty well. But what really made me excited was, was this hotel or resort area I found, which was under renovation. There didn't appear to be any work going on though during the times that I stopped by. I only saw a worker once, and when I showed him the aircraft he seemed to think it was okay for me to fly. I had a fantastic time flying here. A structure like this is unusual. I haven't found something as large as this that can be safely dived and flown around before. It was a fun challenge. Of course, with a little bit of experience, anyone can dive a building with a quad. Quads aren't as affected by turbulence, and you don't have to worry about stalling. However, a wing presents a unique challenge when flying around a structure like this. Flying up the structure, I had to manage speed to make sure that I had enough control authority to keep from crashing into it and being able to turn it to come back down. Two maneuvers for that, one is essentially turning it into a long drawn out Immelman turn or a half cuban 8, or doing a stall turn when you let the airplane fall to the side until you're pointed back down again. Or of course you can simply climb up, uh, up high and dive down onto the structure. I also had someone trying to make friends with my airplane. We all remember how things turned out the last time a bird didn't like my airplane. I didn't notice this guy at all until I watched his footage after. From reading and suggestions from people who saw the previous video, I'd guess it is a peregrine falcon. I really enjoyed flying here. It was an interesting challenge and I hope to find more spots like this. Anyway, here's an uninterrupted flight along with the data log overlay. Unfortunately, the satellites weren't being picked up very well with the GPS, and even though it was often showing six to eight satellites, I was getting continual beeping and alarms over GPS loss. So the airspeed and altitude are likely inaccurate for most of the flight.